please do not try and follow each and every step in this video i'm going to show you how to download the demo application as a delete script file and install it to your account here's a link i will put it in the description you can access that link and type command s or control s save it as a ds file make sure it is a ds extension save go to your zoho creator home page hit import a file you can click anywhere click from computer or drag and drop your file let me pick that design workflow ds open it will automatically create that application for you hello everyone thank you so much for watching our videos and posting your comments today we came across an interesting comment from simply info in one of our videos types of workflows in zoho creator deluge he says uh, best zoho creator tutorials on youtube thank you so much simply info keep watching our videos he has posted a requirement i'm going to show you how to break down a business requirement into something that zoho creator can understand let's first read this requirement he says there are three people using this application admin user sme user and designer i put that at the last because uh, users are the last people we will add to an application because we first need to build the application so let's work on the application content and the application he wants the admin user to create a question or record to initiate the design request which should be notified to sma for which sma need to create content and upload a file it should be notified to both admin user and designer and as soon as it is done he wants to turn the upload button into submitted button then the designer need to download the uploaded script and then uh, upload a new design once he completes the design the button turns green color and text changes to submit it so first you need to uh, split the workflows and database into two different parts for example admin user creates a question this is a workflow but this directly involves a database record so let's take that as a database request and then they should be notified to sma this doesn't really uh, require data modeling so we can put that as it is and the next requirement is for which sme need to create content and upload a text file so this is a database request let's put that here and then it should be notified to both admin and designer it can be a workflow an upload file turns to green and text changes to submit it this can be a workflow designer need to download the script and he should be able to upload the design this is a database request once he completes the design but it turns green color and text changes to submit it if you look at this i have split the original requirement into three parts one is the user part other one is modeling part next one is workflow part so this database modeling part is the key to any application the difference between this part and this part is these workflows perform actions on the record these requirements requires you to build a new model like a field or form or whatever it is to hold the data these requirements does not really require you to hold the data they perform actions on the existing or available data so that's the difference admin user creates a question we need a, a field to handle this question sme need to create content and upload a text file so we need a upload file button for sma designer need to be able to upload the design file so we need two upload files and the request a title field okay let's create them first i've started an application design workflow under this i have the design request title and description for the admin to initiate the request and i have two fields one for sme upload and the other one for designer upload these are the basic fields required for this requirement let's go ahead and uh, look at the workflows first workflow is as soon as the request is created it should be notified to sma there are multiple ways to approach this the straightforward which strikes to everybody is to go to that email notification section from the form enter the email address in this case an sma's email address we can also verify other email addresses and send from that address and include user submitted data hit save if i go ahead and access the application hit submit i will receive an email but the challenge with this approach is if you hard code the sme email address whenever you want to notify a different person you would have to go ahead and change the code it's not just that what if you have more than one sme person and you want to assign the request to an available sme person also for the next one 
As soon as SME uploads a file, it should be notified to both admin user and designer. What if you want to uh, set up a different admin user for a record, not the application owner? Because application owner can be the uh, no company owner, but the person who creates the request can be the admin of that particular request. And uh, just like this SMA, you may have multiple designers. How to make this admin, designer, as well as SMA a variable? You have to think about that. For that, let's go back to this database and create another section here under database. So this is a request form. Let's create a user form to hold the user information. We will assign that user to a request as admin, SMA and designer and use their email address from the user object to notify them. I'm going to create three new fields to this request form. One for admin, one for SMA, one for designer. And before I could do that, I'm going to create a user form and use that form as a lookup field to this request form. I've created a user form with name and email. Now I go to design request. I place a lookup field. This is going to look up data from users form and the display name as a drop down. We're going to assign only one user as the owner for now. If you want more than one user, you can choose multi select, but to make it simple, I'm going to stick with drop down i will also create one for sma and the other one for designer now we have to make sure these three fields always have a value when you create a request so we'll make these three fields mandatory let me add three users so we can pick them for the owner sma and designer we have disabled the default email notification now let's go ahead and access the on add and on success you know what on add on success means if you don't know, you can watch my video Types of Workflows in Soho Creative Deluge Part 1. For this case, we'll go to on add, on success, create a send mail task. The form will be Zoho.admin user ID. As per the requirement, the first request has to be notified only to SMA. So the two address will be input dot SMA dot email. If you notice, I used SME dot email. This is because this SME is a lookup field which is uh, importing data from this user form and user form has the email field let me type that again if i type input dot it's going to list all the form fields and if you notice sma it's called the begin which is also a representation for lookup fields in deluge and as soon as i select that and hit another dot that's going to list all the fields from the user's form so i have name and email but i will use email all right now let's create a descent request I need to pick owner, SME and designer. Let me pick owner as owner, SME as SME, designer as designer. I hit submit. If I check my email, I'm going to say new design requested and the description I type there. So as an SME, you see the email zoho plus SME at arbrc.com. That's the SME's email we gave there in the user's report. As an SME, I can go to the descent request report, see that latest requirement and upload my text file. So I'm going to upload this text file. As soon as I hit update, so now once he uploads a file, it should be notified to both admin user and designer. We are going to access on updates workflow of SME upload and notify owner and designer about this SME upload. We hit SME upload, configure field actions, we don't want on user input. We go to on update. If you want to know why? Watch my types of workflows video. Let's type send mail from zaho.admin is ready to will be input dot owner dot email plus comma plus put dot designer dot email will type the subject sme file uploaded you can also attach file that was uploaded to attach a file we just need to type attachments just like two from subject message we type attachments and set it to file and the field name input dot sme upload and save it i will post the whole application code as a daily script file in the description so you can download and use it now as an sme i'm going to upload this file let me save this as a text file requirements design text file update there is this requirements design text file if i check my email i got the email with the subject sme file uploaded and the file attached now let's say 
the designer is going to access this application and upload the design file. Let's go back and look at the requirement. We have achieved the whole of database part. We have achieved the uh, notification to SMA. We have achieved notification to admin and designer. There is no other notification left. So we are done. Here, the upload field button should turn to green and text changes to submitted. The upload field button is a file upload field and uh, the label name is controlled by the Zoho creator team. We cannot change the content by a deluge or in any other way unless we change the content itself. I think he wants this to change it to submitted instead of showing this field here or somewhere here instead of this upload button but that is not possible. What we can do is we can add a new drop down field here. We can have these statuses open is when you create the request SME submitted as soon as the SME uploads the requirement designer submitted as soon as the designer uploads his file and approved once the customer approves it. We can also do conditional formatting based on the status so by the color you will know this is open this is uh, under SME or this is under designer or this is yet to approve or something like that. Instead of this to change the button color or button text, we are going to approach it in a different way. We will create the status field. It can be a drop down. We have all these four options. We can check that open. So whenever a request is created, it will be open by default. We can also do the condition formatting before we work on this status change. In design request report, you hit conditional formatting, create conditional formatting. We are going to create color for each status. Open when the status equals open. Let's select all the fields. You can put the background color to uh, yellow and text color to white. Make it bold. Create. I will also create the conditional formatting for other statuses as well. I have four colors for all four statuses. If it is open, it will be yellow, SME submitted blue, designer submitted light green, approved dark green. Now, we need to switch the statuses automatically when the SME uploads and when the designer uploads. When the SME uploads, we go to SME uploads, configure field action, on update, we set the status to SME submitted. Under designer upload on update, input our status will be designer submitted and the admin can manually change the status to approved later let's watch the whole application in action we go to design request create a new request you say the status is open by default let's assign an owner sma designer submit go to design request see the whole request is yellow let's edit upload sma update whole request is blue the status is sma submitted we edit change it to a designer upload update here is the designer update and it's light green. And as the administrator, I can manually change the status to approved. It's full green. We are done with the database. We are done with the workflow. This uses and permission is a different topic. I can give you a brief introduction so you understand the basics of this users and permissions. By default, there is an administrator profile. This means whoever is added to this administrator profile with the CEO role can edit the application can act as the administrator for this application. There is a difference between profile and role. To restrict the reports, you use roles. To restrict everything else, you use profiles. So with profiles, you can control every component like fields, forms, HTML pages, stateless forms, and so on. With roles, you can control reports. That's the basic. With that in mind, Keep learning about users' roles and profiles and you will understand what they say in the document. If you have any questions, feel free to post that as a comment or write to us to zoho at arbrc.com. We'll be happy to respond. Thank you so much for patiently watching this video. Please subscribe if you like our channel. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye.